Hello everybody, this is Guestfire here, and welcome to another Minecraft survival episode in my survival episode world. Okay, yeah, yeah, so today in the survival episode, actually this world is called the series of total amazing stuff in case any of you were wondering, but um, we have got two villagers! I haven't actually been working on like a project with them or anything, but I'm gonna make a villager breeder and then I'm gonna build an iron farm sometime in the future. But for now, yeah, we have we have two villagers. They're not really useful for the villager breeder. I think maybe one of them at most, not two of them. And they're both looking in that direction. Right, so anyways. Uh today and let's just turn it to easy because I forgot to keep it on uh, that. We're going to be doing a very nice project. No, let's keep it on peaceful because the villagers will die otherwise, I'm sorry. Okay, it's peaceful. So today, we're going to be building a fun project. Well, not a fun project, but you see, today, I'm gonna be building a nether wart farm. It was needed, it was needed. It's already been started, as you can see up here. But we have work to do, definitely. So, well, let's begin with that. I will believe the first thing that we need to do is fill in some more of this area. So yeah, we work on that. Um, right, so, then we're gonna dig out all of this. Yes, dig out a side strip. And that is because, um, I actually need to go to the nether for a second. So that I can get some more soul sand. Because I need um, quite a bit more soul sand. Because I realized that I don't want an 8x8 field of nether warts. I want a 9x9 field of nether warts. Because who even does 8x8? 9x9 has a center, and we're going to be doing a wildlife auto harvesting system and things. So uh, we're going to want a, uh, a center for all of that stuff. So let's just grab some soul sand. That should be enough. Yeah, yeah, sure. It'll be it'll be good. Twenty's probably good. Because um if we go eight along, that's eight. Sixteen plus one. Yeah, this is definitely enough. Okay, so let's just quickly head over back to the overworld. And then we'll grab our nether warts, our extra nether warts. No, we probably have enough just from harvesting that. And uh well I guess we can go and grab some redstone when it, when we're ready for that. But um yeah, if any of you, I have a question for you guys. If any of you, um, have any ideas for, like, things that I should do when I start the episode, or, like, during the episode, like, every single time that I have the episode, if you guys have any great ideas for any of that, then I'd love to hear of them, because, um, any, any ideas for improvements, too, just in general on my YouTube channel, I'm usually pretty happy to hear those, they're fine, really. Um... Those are some always things that I'm willing to take. Wow, look, just from that 8x8 harvest, we got over two stacks. This is going to be a very efficient nether wart farm, I'm just letting you know. We will never use all of this nether wart, but I like to have it. Okay, so then we want to remove the corner nether warts. Like so. And uh, then we need to find the exact center, because this is 9x9 nine nine now, right? Because 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, yeah. So if we just go like out a little bit, I believe this would be the middle. Cause no, this is the middle. Right? Yeah, I think so because one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Yes, this is the middle. Okay, so now we're going to be very careful. And we're uh, going to actually go get some materials to work on this. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm all ready. I've got my shovel. Yeah, I actually had... I didn't realize it, but I have like an efficiency 5 shovel. And that was my efficiency 3 shovel, and it was like insta-mining everything. So I actually have even better shovels, but I need like a normal shovel for this project. So, what we're gonna do... If you want to use this as a tutorial, you may, of course. So make a 9x9 nine nine thing of soul sand, dig out the center block in the four corners, then you put the dispensers facing upwards. By the way, I've done no creative testing of this, and 
Wow, my voice is sounding weird today, so... Uh, yeah, I have done no creative testing for this build. But... I'm gonna need some more cobblestone. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just go get that quickly. Um, this shouldn't take too much time. Sorry. And I do believe that we have got the proper amount of cobblestone now. So, then you're gonna ring in- I think we're going to, uh, kind of fence off this area. Oh, wow, I need to make my voice sound like my voice normally does. It doesn't sound like that, it sounds weird. Okay, so, we'll just pick up that torch, I guess. Yeah, this is kind of what I envisioned the massive field looking like. Um, kind of smaller, though. I have to say, I did not envision it as being this big. Okay, so then I'm just gonna light it up a little bit. Make the torches symmetrical, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, so here. And actually, I'm just gonna place some more dirt along here so that it kind of looks natural er. There we go. Now it looks all natural and stuff. Well, I mean, it does not look natural, of course. It's a farm, but... Okay, so everything is perfectly in line. Now, oh, I'm gonna make an infinite water source. I can just keep this here because... Then we're going to uh, fill up four buckets and just put them in the dispensers. Oh wow, I actually managed to drain the infinite water source. I didn't know that that was possible. And then just put them in all four corners. Okay, so, now's when the redstone comes into play. So, we're just gonna dig down a few and find the dispenser. Yes, yes. We're gonna find the other dispenser now. Wherever that is. Um, torch. Oh good, I am carrying coal on me. Should be just right there, yeah. Oh, hello. I did not realize that this was a thing. That's kind of going to be a problem. Not really. I suppose we can just kind of cover that up. Uh-huh. Okay, good. Let's go. Now that I've all covered that up, I will uh, begin continuing with the redstone. Um, so we'll just hop back down here. And we're gonna wanna put a wire... Well, we'll uh, kind of remove this. And just put a wire going along here. Yeah, that should work, hopefully. Uh, let's just find the center of this. Here it is. And we'll just dig out, cause, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, here, look, here's the center already. So we need to go, um... Which way am I going to harvest the nether wart from? Most likely that way, probably. So, we're going to want to make this just kind of head out. We're going to want a, just a normal tunnel. Where am I? Okay, let's just dig down. Yeah, okay, that's all I need to do. No, 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 stay here. I want to. Okay, yeah, so just we want a tunnel here. So that's a good thing to note, because, um... So we're going to need to have all of this area kind of safety-proofed here. Because we want no redstone wiring, wiring interrupting it. So, yeah, I, guess, I suppose we'll wire up the um, rest of the dispensers from back around here. Just curious, from the center, this should really be the end, shouldn't it? No? Is that the end? Okay. So we'll just, once again, dig until we find the dispensers. Oh, they're right here. Well, hello there, dispenser. 
This is it, right? Yes. So we'll just put some redstone on there to symbolize it. Okay. And then we'll just put it on there. Okay, so we'll wire it up now. Through which direction again? Right back here. Hmm. I hope the redstone will reach. It probably is not going to. Right? Because if I put something here... Yeah, that's probably not going to reach. I suppose we should just put a repeater there. Or like right here. Yeah. That should work. Right? Because... Won't the redstone not reach? Hmm. I think it won't. It doesn't matter if it does. Okay, so we'll just um close no, no, I want I want to keep that block. We'll close off this area and um we'll leave that there. Okay, so if my amazing calculations turn out to be correct, which would be a miracle, um then by if oh yeah i have some more wiring to do yeah this definitely won't reach with the extra amount of wiring just a small bit but um right if i yeah if i just include a button on the side here and then if I actually go right here, and then just include like a button here, it can be cobblestone. Yes, this should hopefully activate every single dispenser. Yes, which flows right down into the center. And so if any items like nether warts all get thrown down here, then they should all hopefully just eventually end up down in the hole. Good, good, good. Now there is one little problem that I'm encountering suddenly, uh, and this is the problem. How many seconds would it take for something in the furthermost corner to reach there? 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7. It's like 7 seconds. That's not good. Which means that I'm- yeah, you know what that means? It means that I have to leave on the water for seven seconds. So, I'm gonna need a lot of repeaters. Because I want it to pulse twice, because I don't want to have to go here and just press this button again. That would be inconvenient. And you know, I suppose we'll put this button up on top. Yeah, that's good. So let's see. Seven seconds translated into ticks. Uh, well... Um, one second, I'll be right back. Okay, so using my intense redstone skills, I figured out that it's hard to round to about 7 seconds. So we're going to go with 8 seconds so that everything definitely gets in there. That's going to require 20 repeaters. Yeah! That's why I brought a lot of stuff. So 20 repeaters is going to require... Ah, good. It's almost exactly enough for 20. That's going to require a lot of redstone torches, so you're going to need, uh, for each one you need two. So, 40 redstone torches? Okay, now I'm scared. Uh, it's going to be a massive undertaking. Okay, let's make- I don't even have that much redstone on me. Okay, I guess I'll go craft all that stuff in my storage room. Uh, I'm actually very concerned about how much redstone this will take. Um, it should not drain my supplies, I hope. So, uh, redstone, yeah, I need, I have a lot more. Okay, so, gonna want to make 39, 39 redstone torches, we need to be exact. Now we have exactly 40. Okay. Despite how scary this is, we're about to craft... 
20 repeaters. 40 repeaters, I mean. We didn't even craft that many. We didn't even craft as many as we need. We crafted 20. 20 repeaters is literally enough for exactly how much we need. We don't need 40 repeaters. Stop, Noah. We're not going to do the same thing as I did on the annoying dog. Yes, we need 20 repeaters. Okay, that didn't drain my supplies too, too much. I should be safe now. Now, the only thing that I'm concerned about with this, like, realistically, is space. Because this is a relatively small project. So, uh, I'm concerned, but, um... Okay, let's just head down into the redstone. Think about it later. Get scared considering what you've done later. So now we have one, too. Oh yeah, so we're gonna need to find a good place to make that space. Where will I do that? Um, where do I have a nice open expanse to build all of that? Okay, right here is good. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you know, I should really put down repeaters as I'm saying this. It would really help me. Two, three, four, five. Okay, that's already a little bit of time. So I think I can see where I want to go with this. If I just... I'm going to need to craft another shovel. I'll be right... I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. Um, this episode's dragging on for longer than I thought it would. Probably because of the massive undertaking that I'm doing right now. Okay, iron shovel. So probably if I go 10 there and then 10 back. One, two, three, four, five. Oh wait, no, five is good, five is good. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, exactly, that's perfect. Um, oh yeah, we need to get rid of these two. Yes, okay, so then we'll just, uh, kind of just double back by placing some more redstone. Well, I suppose I don't really need these resources that much. I can probably part with it for the sake of having a massive industrial nether wart farm. You know how that is. Oh, wait, that repeater's a problem. That repeater's definitely a problem. Hmm. Okay. Um. There's something that I can do about it. Probably. If I... Okay, let's see. Let's get back in there. In the redstone. Okay, so, uh... If I made this, like, little trail going around... Like, all the way around. Maybe I could go off in this direction? Yeah, I feel like that would be better. Okay, I'll be back. Uh-huh. I think I have got it. So now if we press the button. No, wait. One Mississippi. One, two, two thousand. What's happening? Why aren't the other dispensers activating? Okay. Well, it should shut off in a little bit. No? Not gonna shut off? Okay, that's interesting. What what happened? I think I know what happened. I probably broke the wiring. Oh yeah, yeah, of course I did. Well, why isn't this at least powering? It really should. Oh, oh I see, that's a problem. I'm gonna need to leave this on here, aren't we? Okay. Well, Let's try that again. Yeah, I found a nice space to keep the redstone wiring. Okay, so let's just go up and around. And then... Oh, yeah, well first we should... Really take out the buckets and just get the water. And stick it back in the dispenser. Okay, so now... 
turn it on. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8! 1,000? No? Maybe if I can get down there, I can see what's wrong. Uh, I, I can't tell what's wrong. I actually cannot. What is wrong? Well, there's only one other thing I can think of doing. And that is to actually go down there and check out the wiring myself while it's activating. That's always a great idea to test for flaws. It's a great way to test for flaws. Okay. We just head down here. We'll see what happens. Wait. Maybe... Oh yeah, it's okay. We'll fix that later. We just run down here and we'll see what happens. Okay, so this happens, it runs along, and that trick doesn't work anymore. What? Okay, this used, this used to work very, very well. I'm sorry if that doesn't work anymore. Well then. Okay, we'll just place one here, here, and here. Okay, that should work, but... I have one last repeater to place. I guess I can place it here or something. That should work, regrettably. Okay. If that's how they're gonna make me be about it, that's what I'll do. That is sh how I shall wire up the system. Okay, now it should work. Really, it should work. Like, really, really, it should work. Okay. Okay. So now we just wait a few seconds. And we just continue on. Yay! Okay, so what happens? We have like a piece of redstone here. Will it go? Oh no, I created a circle, an infinite loop, didn't I? Oh no, oh no, no, no. Oh. Uh, I created an infinite loop. Oh come on. Okay. Okay then. We're gonna have to fix that. Because... Because that's a problem. Because that's not something that we want happening. So let's just head back down there. And... See how we can fix this. This shenanigan. Okay. What if... What if... We had this wired up to somewhere slightly different. What if we... Oh, I can't think of any way to do it. How about... Oh, come on. This can't be it. No. No, there's a solution. I can feel the solution coming. I know that there's a way. There is a way. Regrettably, it's going to take a long time. So we're going to need to have it power over here. I suppose we'll just stick that repeater on. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, and then we'll just have like so. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. And then we'll, uh, go do the same thing, but we're gonna need two more repeaters. That's fine, I can craft two more repeaters, you know? It's easy enough for me. I just need to make all of those into torches, as well as one last stick. Because, of course, this is two repeaters that we're crafting. And then we'll just do one, two. Or one, two. And then we'll shove some stone down there. The piece of redstone and be out already. And I'm going to pause the video because I'm upset now. Okay, next test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two... Why? No, it's not working. 
<sighs> I understand what I did wrong. I'll fix my mistake. This needs to not be wired to this. This needs to be wired here. This needs to not be wired here. Cool, I hate my life. Okay, let's see. This can go here and down. And then it needs to go like under here. And then like this. Okay, okay, I have this really bad feeling that I did it wrong. But, 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 we, we have success with three of the buckets. Why can't we have success with the last one? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I did it. Did I do it? Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yes. I did it. It required too much redstone, it required too much thinking, it required an excess amount of, like, life, and I, I spent too much time on that. Goodbye. And not, not goodbye for the episode, I just mean, like, goodbye, stupid thing, and... Ugh. Seriously? Running into annoying problems like this, yet again? What can I do to fix this? What happens if I put it, like down here and then I put this here no that won't work cool get back up there I'm tired of rewiring redstone this is too annoying I'm so done what happens I was just to say you are going to go away and you're going here yeah what happens if I did this what happens if I said, I'm putting the button on the ground right here? Not up there where it was before. Huh? What happens if I do this? Yeah? Yeah, let's see what happens. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay! And I'm still not done with the farm. Okay. Okay, I'm still not done. I still have more to do. I have the harvesting feature done, but I'm not actually done. Yeah, I know. You're all gonna get so mad at me now, and you're gonna be like, you know what? I watched this video because I wanted entertainment, and all I, got, all I got was pain. Pain and suffering. Well, you know what I say to that? I don't care. That's my best comeback. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm pathetic today. Okay. And I'm putting some water here. And I'm going up. Okay. And then I'm going to fill it. Oh, yay, it stopped raining. I'll fill it up from the infinite water source and just shove it back in there. Mm-hmm. Okay. So next, I want to... Uh... How far can we go this direction? Okay, cool. Then I'll just use my hopper skills to have it flow directly down into this hopper, which will then keep on going from there. Okay, yeah, come on, I want to place the hopper on there. Yeah, come on, let's go. Yay, I think I did it. So now whenever I shove something in here, it goes into here. So when anything comes down the water stream, it just goes directly into that. Okay, good. Good, good, good. In theory, we really want to get as close as we can. So one, two, three. Okay, come on. Let's just do this. Goodbye. Now I have a sort of working farm. Okay. Um, what if I crafted up some stuff? Like a chest for all of the warts to fall into? 
And then I just got rid of all of this junk. Did I reach down there? No. No. Okay, I'll be right back. Yay, we did it. Um, everything works. All of the items flow down into this chest. Sorry for the long video today. Um, yeah, we'll probably harvest this farm next episode. As you can see, I built a red flag to let the world know that it's here and stuff. And Yeah, so we'll harvest it next episode, so I suppose it's finally time to say thank you for watching. Good